so um, last year when we taught the digital pass course, which is all about um, uh, designing interactive media uh -huh. and games for cultural heritage, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, we spoke to the students and they said they'd like, they really appreciated the mm -hmm. use of real world examples. Okay. Okay, so yeah. this year we've, uh, in the middle of the course, set up a game jam where we're going to respond to um, a historic environment Scotland call for uh, designing immersive experiences for Urquhart Castle, which yes. has just been published. So we're hoping to get some uh, good results from that and maybe right. get some student submissions because that's a student competition that they've launched. Um, but regardless, it's a really good opportunity for the students to see what a real um, design brief looks like and then actually respond to that rather than us making up fictional things. Um, so we're going to get them working in groups to do that. Yeah. Actually, is I've been really surprised at the extent to which um, lots of the students have requested more technical content. So when we've taught digital courses, um, taught digital courses last year, which is my first year of teaching these things, and I pitched everything at a very accessible, that what I thought was a very accessible level. So it was mostly about design, lots of paper-based design and conceptual work. Um, and there were requests from the students for more technical work. So from humanities students, a real appetite to learn coding and uh, really kind of uh, the use of quite sophisticated software, which surprised and delighted me, I have to say. Mm -hmm.